Patrick here for another edition of Fans Life. It's the big one this weekend. Uh, well, I love to say it was the Spurs-Liverpool match which ended in 4 nil to Spurs. But we are here for the really big one between Manchester United at Old Trafford against Chelsea title contenders. Both teams haven't lost yet, but of course United have the 100% record. We are here at Mokmin Restaurant at Section 7 in Shah Alam together with the Manchester United fans. A bit scared, but they've been doing really, really well at the start of the season so far. We'll see what happens with the United fans in the first half in this big match. So is it going to be United or is it going to be Chelsea? We'll find out during the course of the game and come back with our halftime report. Chris Molling draws first blood for Manchester United. United won Chelsea nil in just about seven minutes of the game. What a goal! Chelsea had ten chances in the first half, but they failed to score. But United strike back with goal number two. It's United two, Chelsea nil. United score another one. It's 3 nil. I just hope that uh, before the match, Peter Cech told his mom, I'll be back by 9. But it doesn't look that way. It's 3 nil to United. Well, it's half time. United lead Chelsea by 3 nil. Is it going to be any different with uh, games when they played with Arsenal? I'm not too sure, but it's looking to be that way. We'll find out with the United guys. We come up with a halftime report right here on Fans Live at Section 7. We move me with the United fans. It's United 3, Chelsea 0. All right, it's halftime here at Mokmin Restaurant, Section 7. Shalom together with the Manchester United fans. I'm here with Shaq and also Azan. Would there be anything less than excited? 3 0 in the first half. Uh, Shaq, yeah. your take on the first half performance? Um, uh, MU play uh, quite a good game, and but Chelsea play a uh, good game too. But I know they are just unlucky. Ah, uh, itulah Azan. Kita tengok kan uh, stats dia kan 30 minit pertama Chelsea dapat 10 attempt on goal, manakala United dapat satu saja. Apa itu sebab mereka tak skor sebab apa United memang bagus kat defend ke dia orang tumpul kat depan? Uh, memang Chelsea memang tak boleh tak boleh buat apa-apa sebab kita memang ada uh, ubat yang terbaik sekarang ni David De Gea. Kita ada De Gea yang terbaik malam ni ubat yang paling power adalah De Gea untuk semangat pada MU. Alright. So the medication is actually David De Gea maybe Lindegard playing in the Champions League has given David De Gea something about you know Playing well in the Premier League. Yeah, um, they get better than they got. Yeah. Okay, so it is 3 0 now. Second half, macam mana? Adakah dia mungkin 8 goal ke 5 goal ke? Kita hope dia akan bagi 8 lah. Kita hope <laughs> today kita buat lagi macam Arsenal punya time. Kita hope dia akan dapat 8 lah after that. Hopefully. You, United are making the other challenges in the Premier League look so small. Shaq, what do you think second half is going to be like? Uh, I don't expect much. 4 0. Okay. Just one more goal enough lah. Sao Tong, everything lah. Tapau. Tapau. 4-0. Enough. <laughs> thanks, Shaq. Thanks, Hassan. Right here at the Moment Restaurant. They're going to be sitting down, shaking their legs and relaxing for the second half. Well, we are going to be excited to see what happens between Man United and Chelsea. It looks like it's, they're going to be bulldozing their way through the second half. We'll find out more here on Fans Live. Wow. Just about to start off the second half. They started the second half and Chelsea are back. And guess who scored? Fernando Torres, has he made the turn? Is he back to his scoring form? I don't know. It must be something about the halftime talk, but according to Isaac Austin here on the Facebook page, on the Chelsea official Facebook page, he ended the first half saying it's game over, but is it now? They're just two goals behind. It's United 3, Chelsea 1. Well, it's halfway through the second half. It's still Man United 3, Chelsea 1. Uh, Chelsea on the ascendancy and so are uh, United, they missed a penalty just now. United have made two changes, brought in uh, Michael Carrick and also Valencia for Anderson and Chris Smalling. Well, Chelsea have not made a replacement except the one in halftime, uh, brought in Nicholas Anelka. But uh, let me see here, there's uh, somebody by the name of Jason Bonavita 
who says that it's time for Ramirez to go. He has had enough of him and looks like he's going to get his wish pretty much soon. Not really much. They're going to have a change, but we'll see what happens in the second part of the second half, whether Chelsea can make a game out of this. It's still United 3, Chelsea 1. Can you have not scored that one? He is doomed. Brilliant chance. Dribbled at four defenders. Defended the goalkeeper. And he's scuffed it. And that's it. In a scintillating match from start right up till the 90th minute. An exciting game. But it ended in United's favour. United 3. Chelsea won. We'll come back and wrap up our Fans Life edition with the United Boys with our full-time report with the Manchester United supporters here at Mobin Restaurant on Fans Life. All right, it's the full-time match report. What a game it was. 90 minutes for the neutrals. Great game. Dia tu dari start sampai habis dua-dua side pun ada attacking. I'm here with Fikri and also with Amin as well. So, uh, Fikri, uh, pendapat anda tentang performance United untuk keseluruhan game? So, total lah. Point game ni memang banyak chance lah daripada Rooney but uh, Bevatov memang banyak chance lah so tak ada luck lah so 3-1 ok dah cukup lah bagi kita <laughs> tapi apa cakap Fikri memang Rooney dia miss penalty Bevatov pun ada open goal okay. tapi kalau tengok dua-dua side pun ada banyak peluang yang mereka tak dapat convert uh, Amin dapat macam mana pendapat anda ok mula saya rasa pelawan ni memang saya satisfy dengan dia punya performance and then tentang miss chance tu memang saya rasa memang very very unlucky lah. So lepas ni saya harap uh, kita orang dapat perform untuk next game Liverpool and uh, Man City. So kita orang dapat beat dia orang. So so mereka uh, United dah kalahkan uh, United dengan old, United dengan uh, apa tu uh, United sudah kalahkan Arsenal, sudah kalahkan Chelsea. Next is Liverpool dengan Man City. Ada Champions League game lagi yang akan datang. Macam mana awak ingat uh, skuad anda? Bolehkah anda mengharungi rentangan-rentangan uh, Champions League dan juga uh, Liverpool dengan uh, Man City? Uh, saya rasa kalau kita orang dapat uh, kekalkan kita orang punya first level punya team, I think kita boleh beat siapa-siapa saja. -siapa uh, so, I hope mereka lepas ni dia orang perform lagi lebih daripada ini. So, okay. I hope. Siapa habis? UEFA, UPL, confirm, believe. Wow, United's gonna sapu habis all of it. So we'll find out what happens. A big thank you to the Manchester United fans at Momin Restaurant. We'll see you again for the Man City game because that is gonna be probably the league title decider. But United go on top tonight because City have drawn with Fulham. So congratulations to Man United. You league the table. Five games, five wins, 100% record. So I'm Patrick for Fans Life here for Hua Sports. Until we catch up with you the next time, bye for now.